This video is going to show you how to use other people's opinions and critical comments fairly. Here's Archie Norman, he's the chairman of Marks and Spencer. And in the Marks and Spencer annual report and accounts, he's writing about the trading of Marks and Spencer. He gives an opinion. He writes, I do expect to see improvement in trading in each of our major businesses in the year ahead. That's his opinion. It's his critical comment. So, I've copied and pasted it. There's the text. If, in a piece of work, you simply wrote, I expect to see improvement in trading in each of the major businesses in the year ahead, that would be cheating, it would be plagiarism, it wouldn't be fair, please don't do it. You're cheating because you are passing off Archie Norman's opinion as your own. But you can use the exact words that Archie Norman has said as part of a discussion. This is a really helpful and powerful technique. Let me show you how to do it. Write something like this. Archie Norman, the chairman of Marks and Spencer, claims that I expect to see improvement in trading in each of our major businesses in the year ahead. Cite the source. And then go on, in your own words, to develop a discussion about the quote. That's fair, it's powerful, and I would really encourage you to use uh, direct quotes in your discussion. But students sometimes also want to use uh, opinions and critical comments in the overall conclusion to their piece of work. Now at this point you have to be very, very careful. So. A student could have prepared a discussion about the trading of Marks and Spencer. And after analysing the trading of Marks and Spencer, they could write something like this. In conclusion, Archie Norman, the chairman of Marks and Spencer, claims that he expects to see improvements in trading in each of the major businesses in the year ahead. I agree with this opinion. Now, technically, that is correct. Technically, there is nothing wrong with using Archie Norman's exact words to create a conclusion to a piece of work, and that would be an appropriate way of referencing his exact words. Now, it's more complicated than that, and so what I've done is I've got another video about quote and cite technique using direct quotes for conclusions and I'd encourage you to watch that video to understand how to use quote and cite for when you're preparing a conclusion using someone else's words. So in summary, you can use people's opinions and critical comments in your discussion. That's really straightforward and powerful. If you're going to use people's direct words in your conclusion, be very careful and please watch my next video. I hope this is helping you.